And he's yet one of the many staff at Maine Fiddle Camp, right in uh, Montville, Maine. Maine Fiddle Camp. Uh, this is a benefit for Maine Fiddle Camp, so the proceeds are going to help our scholarship fund. Maine Fiddle Camp is a nonprofit organization and relies so much on volunteers and contributions. And uh, we really appreciate all of the artists that are performing tonight. And uh, please support them if they have any CDs or whatever uh, for sale. Meanwhile, we've got another great staff member of Maine Fiddle Camp. Uh, he's he's uh, such a great help when it comes to all the technical difficulties of running a camp. As a matter of fact, believe it or not, the amplification tonight for tonight's show is run by clean power, solar powered, and it's being run with a solar power car or the solar panel on a car right out here. That was all organized here by our next performer who's also a fabulous musician, so please Make welcome from North Whitefield, Ed Howe. Hey, hello. Gosh, it's uh, it's crazy to be back in Maine. I've been on been on tour for quite a while now, and it's uh, been uh, been actually uh, quite quite wonderful. We've been taking the the old solar Volvo all over the United States, and. Uh, now I'm back in Maine for a little bit. Um, I play a, a strange instrument. This is a five-string electric violin that was designed by a guy by the name of Ned Steinberger right down here in Nobleboro, Maine. And I'm very honored to be playing this instrument because it does all kinds of great stuff. And uh, the first tune I want to play on it for you guys is a tune that I wrote for my wife. Um, and it was uh, a tune that was sort of developed when we were first seeing each other. And um, she, she grew up down in Bristol, down, right down on the coast of the peninsula of Maine called Bristol. And um, one day she was not feeling very well and uh, she was trying to drive to work and I was following her and she got to Damascata. Mind you, this is in the middle of January. And she got to Damascata right behind, uh, right next to the Damascata River there. Um, and uh, she said, I can't drive anymore, I'm, I'm not feeling very good. So I uh, thought, well, what can I do here? So I just re remembered somehow in the back of my old Volvo I had a lawn chair. And I set out the lawn chair in the snow, and I realized I had a, a blanket in the back of the car too. So I wrapped her up in a blanket, set her in the lawn chair, and she fell asleep. In the snow, in the middle of January, right next to the Damascata River. And I did what only sensible person could do in a moment like that, and I got my fiddle out in the middle of January in a blowing snowstorm, and I wrote her this tune. And um, this tune um, is appropriately named um, after what she called, I was the butterfly and she was the lily pad that I landed on, so I call this tune Lily.
Thank you.